what's up everybody? It's uh, March 12, 2021, up here in Big Bear Lake, California. We're getting some snow right now. And it's, it's coming out a little better than it looked on the radar, so this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just saw something hilarious. Someone's about to get a ticket. There's a cop sitting right up there. I was just there. I was just there, and that's exactly what he's waiting for, right at that corner. And that guy was going like, like 50 in a 40 while, while it's snowing. So, shoot. I mean, I wouldn't want to get caught, but he didn't look like he, he lives up here because he has a nice car. <laughs> Sorry to all my local friends. But yeah, it's like, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're taking, we just turned from Moonridge Road. So we're just going to do a short, a short little drive to the village. But we're going to take the back roads from Moonridge to the village. So when you're on Moonridge Road, I turned right on Evergreen. So we're on Evergreen right now. And Evergreen has some magnificent houses on this street on both sides. Um, just, just beautiful, beautiful places. Look how big, look how big they are. It's beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. So this is gonna take us up here by Snow Summit, um, just to the south of it by like 100 yards. We're just gonna pass right by it and we're gonna take this all the way to a street called Thrush. Thrush the magic dragon. Look at this crazy guy. Oh man. This is beautiful. It's nice that we're getting a, a little bit more snow. This was definitely expected. However, I'm not too sure about how much uh, uh, we're actually gonna get this evening because this is actually just a little impulse coming through. Um, and then we've got the, the final part of this system later on tonight, um, maybe an inch, maybe. But the forecast has changed um, and it's a day that's a lot closer than they usually change that rapidly. So basically just a couple, like a few hours ago, there's nothing in the forecast, like 0% temperatures right after Monday, we're gonna be jumping up into the upper 50s. Um, I guess we're not going down Evergreen straight all the, down this way, what was I thinking? We're gonna turn down Brownie then. So we took Evergreen to Summit Boulevard. This is Summit Boulevard, look, that's Snow Summit. And that's a car. <clears throat> um, yeah, hang on a second, I just gotta make sure I can safely maneuver this turn here. All right, cool. Um, dude, I forgot what I was saying. Oh my God, what an idiot. What an idiot? Gosh. Such an idiot, man. Um, yeah, okay. And I, you know, I really, really don't take myself seriously because I used to take myself very seriously. And I, I don't think I was really that uptight, but I would get uptight. And uh, now I assure you, I take life seriously when it's necessary. And I mean, I will be, I will be the most helpful, loving person in those scenarios. Other than that, I'm just not taking anything seriously anymore. You know, in life, we have a lot to think about, but nothing to worry about. And if you can just actually, you know, try to let that sink in and realize, you know, that's, that's, that's a huge correlation to being able to, uh, uh, just enjoy life. So I wish you guys the best, you know, just, yeah, man, seriously, man. I always think about you guys. I just want you guys to be so happy all the time. And it seems like so many of you are, but then again, I probably seem like I'm always happy to you guys, but you know, I'm, it's, I'm probably a lot less than you think. Um, but the more that I'm loving myself, much better I'm feeling. It's pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. But yeah, I just always want you guys to do well, uh, be happy, be healthy. Okay, so we're on Brownie Lane. That's what we turned on from Summit Boulevard, heading towards the village. So just running parallel, that's Big Bear Boulevard down there. And then we're going to turn left here on what's What's it called? Oh, Ren. Yeah, duh. Ren Street. Okay. W R E N. I'm 
I'm gonna put a rent in your plans. Seriously, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. I should probably drive into a ditch just for saying such a dumb joke like that. I mean, I don't deserve to speak. <laughs> saying something so retarded. Oh my gosh, I stopped myself from saying a very politically incorrect word right there. And uh, yeah, like uh, sometimes things slip out, guys. And like, I do not ever mean anything. Like that's the worst you'll hear slip out, I promise. Like, because uh, I'm not thinking about anything else worse than that. So that's the worst you would, you would, you would hear. Or like, I'll be like, that's so gay. But like, I have a lot of gay friends up here. So it's, it's had nothing to do with like people being gay, <laughs> you know? Gay technically means happy. So, but like when I'm like frustrated with like something and I've changed big time out of respect for my friends that I, I won't use that terminology anymore. It's just amazing how like, like why let words bother you so much? Like focus on, focus on real issues in life, <laughs> you know, like cancer, stuff, stuff like that. Instead of like, geez, it's only words. It's only words. And I have a never ending amount of these damn things. And I go off on tangent after tangent after tangent. I start a point, never finish it. This guy, this guy. All right, so we just made a left on uh, Jeffries. I totally forgot to tell you what that last street was right there. That was, uh, oh, I can't even see it from here, I forgot. It's not called I Forgot, I just forgot. This is Pennsylvania Avenue right here. We're gonna go drive by the president's place. <clears throat> hey, I have a question for you guys. I know I'm goofy, kind of a dork. Um, what if I someday wanted to to run for, for office up here. And I'm not kidding. Like I am, I'm not kidding because there's, I have a lot of great ideas for this town and, uh, and I'm very good with people. I know how to get things done and this town deserves a lot more. I understand they want to keep the, this old kind of retro feel where you're actually getting away, you know? Um, and I trust me, I, I love that. I absolutely love that. But this town needs in my perspective you guys in my perspective and it's only to help us out up here okay obviously we don't want any big stuff up here we just want it to be a quiet retreat for you guys but i'd like to turn this into like a little tahoe like uh like not change our name obviously but like or maybe call us little lake tahoe or something i, I don't know but we need to put like a really nice four or five star hotel like a w or something up here um, with a direct access with, in, with, a, with, with a heated indoor gondola um, and just a couple other, you know, minor but will be seemingly humongous benefits. Like, I, there, there's just so much this town could do. And like I said, they're stuck in their ways. And I get it. This is a very cute town. This is, this is, this is awesome. So maybe I'm just thinking like this because I've been here a long time and like I need a little more excitement. But if I need more excitement, I should just move off the mountain. That's probably the best answer, but I don't want to do that. Um, I want to bring more excitement to me up here. But if the excitement doesn't generate any fiscal growth, then there's no point because this town needs that. This town needs that big time. We need you guys to come up here and spend money. Like, no joke. This town, uh, thank goodness for the ski resorts and thank goodness that the town didn't really crack down as hard as other towns. Um, and I don't know anybody who got sick or died. So that's, that's fantastic. Like, that's just awesome. So, um, thank God, thank God. But yeah, this town needs, you know, like more stuff like this, but even nicer. No joke. Like Aspen type stuff. This is Southern California, guys. We have Los Angeles, right? Beverly Hills, for Pete's sakes. Where I grew up in Newport Beach, this little island called Linda Isle. It's like a who's who type of a place. Like, like all these, there, there, there are so many people who would benefit from in addition of that and who would be happy to spend a ton of money for it. 
And you know what? We're happy to take the money as long as you guys are stoked with the services we provide. And, you know, it's very hit and miss. Um, but I really hope you guys respect my honesty because I always talk about we need money up here. So if I was being dishonest with you guys, don't you think you would hear me constantly saying, oh, everything's perfect. Oh, there's never been an issue here. Like uh, every hotel room is perfect. Like you don't need to bring a black light in or nothing. I don't even know why I said that, but it's, that, that just came out. There's nothing I saw in any of these rooms to be, oh my God, what did I do? Um, but yeah, don't, don't trip on that. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, but uh, yeah, I am honest with you guys. And, um, you know, like I know sometimes it makes uh, some of the very hardcore, hardcore, hardcore locals up here pretty bummed at me. Um, but it's, it, it's like I, I can understand both sides of the argument, you guys. I, I really can. But one side of the argument doesn't generate any financial growth for this town. So therefore, uh, you know, by process of elimination, my idea, it's, yeah, I got to be honest with you guys. That's it. Like, I, I don't care what, what people think about me uh, for doing that. Like, other things I care about what people think for some reason. Um, but when it comes to something where I'm, I'm just trying to help you guys a lot. Um, I don't care what other people think. Um, you, you know, but I don't want them to think that I'm, I'm trying to just, you know, inundate them or like, uh, just, you know, uh, make their rent not worth it anymore. Or like this and that, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to develop a happy medium between the locals and the tourists. There's, we, <laughs> everywhere you go, you guys, you're not always going to have, I, there, there's never going to be a hundred percent happy, happy community. Never, never. Like it's just not going to happen. I've cried at Disneyland for Christ's sake, <laughs> you know, and that's the happiest place on earth. But, uh, oh no, that was horrible. That was even worse. Uh, <laughs> wait, I used to be able to do Mickey a little bit. Hey! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna put like a Scarface mix with Mickey Mouse. It's just gonna sound horrible. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna walk. Okay. We're gonna walk. Then here comes Scooby Doo, all gangster. Right? <laughs> Ruby? Never mind. You know what? I, I just, yeah, I'm, yeah. I think I'm realizing why I stay single. <laughs> Um, it's not because of this beautiful smile. It's because I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Said Joe, while he's doing his blue. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, when I went skiing on my birthday a couple days ago, I didn't, for the first time, take my own skis. And these skis my mom bought for me my first year at boarding school in Denver, Colorado. It's because I got caught doing drugs when I was like 13. I was smoking weed, but I uh, used a lot of hyperbole to get attention and it really got me in a worse situation. <laughs> I got sent away for two years. Uh, I, I got to come home often for like holidays and this and that, or just vacation whenever, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Once again, I don't, I don't know what the hell the freaking point was there either. <laughs> Hang on a sec, guys. Just real All right. Yeah, sorry about that. I get really distracted, you guys. I really do. And I think from all the years of me uh, 
and you know if I'm being honest with you guys I still I still partake in uh, in uh, wacky tabacky Pacalolo Mary Jane um, but I'm very responsible never while I'm working I used to but never while I'm working never while I'm driving only before bed because then the effects do not uh, start to go away and you become tolerant. Uh, yeah, I used to like it just for the recreational aspects, but the older I've gotten, the it's so hard for me to sleep. And with my mind racing, with so many ideas going through my head and so many different things going on in my life all at once, it's so hard to get sleep. And then with my 85 inch flat screen, Sony Bravia, like it, it's seriously, it's crazy. But anyway, you guys, Hope you enjoyed the little bit of snow right now and we'll probably do another video or two later because we're supposed to get a little bit more. All right, and that's gonna be it. Unless maybe we do get some more on Tuesday. But until then, peace out guys. And uh, yeah. Oh man, that, that really is so pretty right there.